Okay, you guys, so today I'm going to show you um, some curling and styling techniques for this beautiful 27 and 613 highlighted frontal unit. Um, right now, I am just using my curling arm. This is an ion curling arm that I actually got from Sally's Beauty Supply. It heats up to 450 degrees, but I'm actually only using the temperature setting on 400. And I'm just doing some um, slightly on base curls. I'm going to make sure that as I curl each curl or each section, I want to make sure that I am pinning each curl. Now, what that's going to do is going to allow the curls to actually set and cool in that curl formation. And it'll actually make the curls last a little bit longer if you do this. Um, you don't have to do this with all your curling techniques. It really just depends on the look that you want to achieve. This hair was kind of soft. So I just wanted to make sure that my curls would last um, throughout the style. Another pro tip for you that you can do is when you are sleeping in your units at night, if you decide to sleep in them, flexi rods are a great way to maintain your curls throughout so you don't have to curl your unit every day and you can also of course use that for your natural hair if you're doing silk outs or anything like that so notice that i'm continuing to use my on base curling technique and around the face i am making the curls come towards the front um, even though i like to wear my hair back off my face um, when I do this, it's going to actually give me some body and it's going to make the curls be directed more towards the front and you can always push, push them back. Notice that I am continuing to use the technique of pinning the curls. You want to make sure that you are consistent with what you're doing. And I'm using the on base curling technique because I want to make sure that I'm creating body and volume to the unit. Now this particular unit is about 150% density. So it's not overly full, but it's not thin as well. But in order to create more volume and body, if you do that on base technique, it's going to help you out. Okay, so first things first, I pretty much already curled the wig. So the wig is completely curled and I left the pin curls in until I get done. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these T pins out and we're going to get ready and cut the lace. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how I cut the lace and why I use exactly what I'm going to use to cut the lace as well, okay? So I'm going to use uh, this eyebrow razor. You can get this from your local beauty supply store and I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting. So usually I like to kind of start in the middle. And we'll just start to cut. Now, um, let's go. I'm going to go on this side so you guys can kind of see it more. Now I am going to cut somewhat in a jagged edge form. I'm going to push my baby hairs back. I always like to like kind of pre-mo. I'm not good like with that little small, uh, you guys like to use a little flat arm or whatever. Yeah, I'm not that good with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. And again, I'm using like a, like a jacket. It's kind of like making my hand kind of go like shaky or something, right? And I'm coming in and getting really close in there. Sometimes you kind of cut some of the hairs or whatever. Okay. And any extra lace you want to make sure you get cut off. Let's cut that off. Okay. So we got one side done. Let's do this other side.
go ahead and just slightly push that hair back. All right, so now we got the lace cut off. And what we're going to do, we're gonna use a couple of products today. One of our products is going to be our melanin lace tint. This is made by the Hair Rich Company. This is gonna be the first thing that we're going to use. I'm going to make this unit glueless, but I am going to use our Bold Hope Liquid Gold. This is also available on the Hair Rich website, but it is made by Boho the Hair Diagram. And I'm going to use our Sculpt and Mold Melly Mousse for the edges. Okay, so we're going to take the unit and we got inside of this unit and we are going to just kind of turn it inside out so we can spread with the lace tint okay so we got our unit we're going to take our melanin lace tint and we're going to spread it inside out a little bit See how it's coating it. And I do want to tell you guys that this lace tint is very potent, okay? But you don't need a lot of it. So you want to be careful when you layering it on. Don't overly excessively spray it, okay? Now, after, go ahead, I'm going to take the unit I'm going to put it on. Now, I always like to say, like, when you put the unit on, you should kind of be like, this is how I do it anyway. I kind of dip my head or I dip the unit, my head down into the unit. So it's kind of going in first like that. And then I allow it to cuff around the back of my head, okay? From there, I have it positioned. And this is with nothing on it right now at all, like nothing. I have a position so I can just put it in place. Now, notice that my cap is not glued down because you don't have to do that. Like you really don't have to do that. That is a lot of work. I'm just readjusting it a little bit because it was a little bit over. Let's make sure we get this where it needs to be. Okay. Now I got to readjust it a little bit, but yeah, that's where the sideburn is supposed to be. But let's talk about me not gluing the cap down, okay? I'll move these curls out the way. You don't have to do that though, y'all. I'm telling y'all, you do not have to, you do not have to do the whole melting and molding of the cap and all that. The biggest thing is you just have to have a cap that actually matches your skin, okay? Now that can mean that you can either they have caps in like so many different colors that you can either get a cap that's actually your color. And if you can't find a cap that's your color, guess what? Use makeup. It's okay, trust me. But what I'm saying is, you don't have to use the ball cap method, okay? Look at that, baby. Now this is with absolutely nothing on it, okay? We are about to finish in a second, hold on girls, hold on. So now I'm just readjusting it and I'm just making sure that it's laying where it should be laying, right? Bam! Got that in place. Now we're going to use our trusty boho, okay? And see, let's talk about glueless for a quick second. A quick second, give me like two minutes. What makes a wig glueless? When people say, oh, my wig is glueless. Well, it's a few things that you can do. 
First of all, you can get a closure and it can fit your head so perfectly, you absolutely not need one thing, but some lace tint, okay? And it will mesh really good like this, okay? When you start to do frontals, you will need something, okay? Now, when people say glueless and they're doing frontals, trust me, they're still doing something. They're using some type of spray or maybe a gel. And the reason why is like, really, I could just really go on my way with this unit, right? I mean, like literally, but check this out. You see that? If I was gonna use anything, I use it right there, okay? I would use it right there, literally. Stay back, little curl. I would use it right there, okay? So when we say glueless, that's what we mean, okay? But however, sometimes you gotta go across the whole hairline. But if I'm not using glue, it's still glueless, right? Look at these curls. I'm gonna show y'all something else too, cause I'm about to I'm about to lay it out for you, baby. Lay it out. That's how I do it. <laughs> I get so excited about this hair thing. I'm telling you. But I'm gonna use the boho liquid go, okay? And I'm just gonna use a very, very thin layer. Okay, so now we are going to use the boho, boho liquid gold, okay? And we're just going to put a little bit across okay now i really don't have to use it here i can just put it here and put it here okay and i'll use my mousse for everything else so that's what i'm gonna do instead of putting it all across i'm gonna show y'all i'm gonna put it on my finger because you don't need much of this stuff at all like Literally, you don't need much of it at all. Let's put it here. Go ahead and lay my lace down. Let's put it on this other side. I'm gonna use my finger like I did on this side. Just press it down. I'm gonna let it sit. Now, notice I didn't put any right here, and I'm not. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my mousse up there, and I'm done. After I put this mousse on, I'm gonna put my melting band on, and we finished. I'm gonna calm it out. You'll see in a minute. Hey y'all. So I went ahead and I took the clips out. Um, you guys seen that I put the bow hold on the edges and I just put mousse right here in the middle. I didn't do anything fancy, but I went ahead and took the clips out because sometimes it's hard to take them out when you're on camera. So I needed to kind of see this hair is really soft. I mean, like it's really soft. Now I will say this, this was an 18 inch, right? And I probably cut about, I don't know, maybe like three inches off of it so it's not as long as it came because it was longer but my thing is i like quality over quantity and i wanted my hair to look full at the ends i didn't want it to have like that you know that that frayed look so that's why i cut it all right but let's get into the reveal Oh my God, it looks so good. All 
All right, so let's get into it because the wig is bomb. It's bomb. I'm sorry. It's bomb. So, <laughs> I think I got to backtrack a little bit for what I was saying about Amazon wigs. Okay? Because this supplier is from Amazon. Oh, it's so pretty. Woohoo, baby. Woohoo, baby. Yes. I am loving it. Let me turn around so you guys can see the back. Oh, it's cute. I'm about to send my man a picture. Okay. I'm going to take that. Pull that back behind my ear like that. And um, you know, we can we can pretty much do this how we want. But we want it like that. I like to wear my hair off my face. For a long time I had a really big complex about my forehead, but now I just love myself so much and I don't have that complex anymore. So and I like I like bigger bangs if you can't tell. Like that's my like one of my signature things. I got that from one of my mentors. <laughs> But if you want to create this bang, what you do is, first of all, go watch my curling technique video, okay? I do have a curling video on here. But to create this bang, you come straight back, and then you push it up. See that? Push it up. Okay? Of course, you don't have to have it to where it's that big. Some people don't like big bangs, but I do. Oh, my God. This is pretty. So I'm going to put in the description, I'm getting really close for you guys because I want y'all to see how it's laid, okay? Laid, baby. Woo! <laughs> so if you like this video, make sure that you subscribe, give me a like, share it with a friend, comment below and tell me what other videos you may want to see. You see that I did this super easy. I'm going to show you that it's still glueless. No glue, only the bow hole on the edges. And baby, I am slayed. I am slayed. Do you hear me? You want to make it go down? How you go down? You wear this how you want. That's so pretty. I might have a hard time giving this wig away. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to see. Okay, so. Let's talk about what I like the most about the wig. Let's talk about the good things that I like first. Um, I love the color. I love how it fit. Um, it had a very nice fit to it. I um, I loved the fullness of it. It wasn't, I don't like my wigs to be like too overly thick. I like them to be more of like a realistic fullness for me. Um, it wasn't overly thick. Um, and it had very nice lace. It had very nice lace, as you can see. Mwah, right? Um, let's talk about, um, the cons. There weren't, there weren't many. Oh, and the hair is extremely soft. Like, I, I love the fact of, like, the way it feels. It's really soft. Um, the cons. Um, it does not come ready to install. Um, on the website, you will see it and it will be on um, the model and it's going to show like it's ready or it looks like that. They Most Amazon wigs do not come ready to put on. However, if you have a stylist or you are, you know, a hairstylist savvy yourself, then it's a go, okay? Um, the things that you would have to do, and I won't necessarily want to say that it's a con really, it's just that you have to be prepared to know that when you're purchasing units from places like Amazon or Love Me, that when you receive them, a lot of the times they are not as pictured. Okay. So with that being said, when the unit came, it was already colored like this, which like I said, I really love the color. Um, it was a little bit longer like i'll try to kind of show you guys like the full length on it so this is how long it is and i did layer it and cut it but i cut probably about three or four probably about three inches of it off so i cut some of it off so it would have been longer because originally it was an 18 inch and again let me kind of pull it down so you guys can see so you can see how long it is now 
But um, the thing for me is, like I said, I like quality over quantity and I prefer not to have long inches if it's not going to be full to the end. So that's why I cut it. Um, so that was the other thing. And like I said, you do have to prep the unit when you get it. So I did bleach the knots. I did pre-pluck the lace and I had to style it. Okay. So if you're not necessarily hair savvy, then maybe it's not a go for you. But if you are hair savvy, sis, I'm going to tell you, link is going to be down in the description. Make sure you go ahead and you get you one of these, baby, because you need it. All right. So again, like I said, I hope that you like this video. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and I will be more, I will be back with more reviews as well as we'll be doing giveaways. You want to make sure that if you are interested in doing the giveaways, you want to make sure that you're following me over on Facebook and I, IG. On Facebook, you can follow us at the Hair Rich Club. On IG, it's the same um, uh, handle as this, I am Wigiana because I am Wigiana, girl, okay? So I'll see you guys soon. Peace.